President Kufado's message on the occasion of Easter celebrations. Well, what do people have to say? Some have listened to him, and this is what they have to say. The country is in critical situation. When you hear about the Delta Force, the Cucumbers and the Dagomers, it's good to uh, this is good for the president to talk something about un this in unity. Yeah, but the problem I'm having, I was expecting the, I was ex uh, this is expecting Mr. President to talk about the Glamsi. Yeah, because Dante Glamsi is going on high, and recently we heard from the people of Akutia complaining that it is through the Glamsi that they supported the party for the party to come power, and even threatened the president that. This thing, you should dare not stop the Glancy, or else they are not going to vote for him next election. Yeah, but you know, we have to consider certain factors because our river bodies, our land are destroying. We can't be dependent. How many people benefit from Glancy? Uh, about the data for us, just that he wanted to say something so that Ghanaians will know that maybe he can't just keep quiet and this thing because. You train the people, and your, you have your big, big, this thing, big members in the party supporting them. Some people like Kenny Japo and Samu who are all supporting them. So, all this why you just come and say that I've condemned them, this and this and this. It is all a planting. Uh, you know, country like Ghana, we are a developing country. We cannot say we are dependent, we cannot depend on foreigners. We will always depend on them. We will always depend on them. So saying that we should not depend on foreigners, we should not depend on this, is a mistake. Because we cannot be in the country without the help of this in the foreigners. It cannot be. Thank I heard that he had promised them that if they, they, they support him or give him security, whichever way, okay, and then he comes to power, he was going to make sure that they would, they would have um, positions in the national, national security, they will have places in the police service, they will have places in the army. If you, if you promise people like that, and then in the end they help you to achieve what you were looking for, what were you supposed to do? You had better step up to the table and give them what you say you were going to give them. If you don't, surely what is happening is the repercussion you are going to, you know, to incur, all right? I am not trying to condone what the Delta Force guys are doing. For me, they, 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 they are totally wrong. But the president shouldn't have st started it by promising them anything. You understand? So, in a nutshell, for me, the whole thing is, 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 is a non-starter. And it's very, very unfortunate. As a developing country, we can't depend on our own. Because we need certain things from the foreigners. Though, borrowing from them is too much. We are borrowing too much from them, but you can't say you don't need anything from them. One way or the other, we need certain things from them. And they are the people helping us in most ways, giving us money to build our, construct our roads and stuff. So I don't think you can say we don't, we shouldn't depend on them again. You think I side with the president and I agree with him to the extent that, you know, telling Ghanaians to unite, you know, as one nation so that we can really help fight you know, whatever opposition that we face, we go through, and then also build our nation, economic, economic wise, and then, you know, socially and all, all other areas. Okay. Okay. Um, what, do you, what do you also think of um, the condemnation of the Delta Force, the NPP vigilante group, who attacked um, the Kumasi High Court? Again, I think it's a very good idea. I mean, it's a good, it's a good practice for the president of the nation to condemn such you know, a practice, you know, because, I mean, to start with, it's a bad thing, you know, although they identify themselves as part of the party, and then the party has not also denied the fact that they are their boys. But that doesn't give them the rights, you know, because we, we are not in a banana republic, okay? We live in a democracy where the rule of law must be adhered to, you know, and, I mean, must be sought to work. And so the president condemning that, you know, practice is, is a very good point. And then, I mean, he got it right on point. I believe we must allow the law to take its course, you know. So if they are found guilty, I mean, the law should deal with them as that. Yeah, yeah.
you're still watching the pause with me, Gift here and Doc Pierre. So you've heard from people who uh, are on the streets on their own thoughts about what President Ekufado had to say to Ghanaians in Easter. And they, you, you, you realize that all of them seem to talk about uh, the Delta Force and what they have done in Kumasi regarding the lawlessness, uh, uh, the law, uh, the, the acts of lawlessness that they've been engaged in. But let's go on social media and find out what people think. We're, going, we're looking at Facebook. And so this is the question that we put up there on Facebook. We say, uh, what the president quotes, etc., and what he says. So let's quickly run, run through some of the comments. Um, Yendao A. Francis says, I was, says, oh, is, you want to say it was a song he sang. If there is lawlessness in your bedroom down to the entrance of your house, you don't go out propagating the gospel of lawful acts. It's a good shame on his government, and he not withstanding it by playing a neutral card out. He should better clean the inside of his house before the outside. Thanks so much. Okay, that's very interesting point. Uh, Kalamba S. Yak says, already there's a lot of lawlessness in Ghana. What happened in Kumasi is shambolic. What has happened to the incident that took place at the presidency? A Ghana without aid indeed. For the 100 days, Kennedy Japan has been in charge. That's what you think. Dalentin Selassie Kumaku says, aid is... Aid itself is normally not capitalized on monetary aid. Really? I mean, I mean, I don't really get it. Perhaps food, ranging from Tom Brown says, there are, <laughs> hence there are few who can. In this current condition in Ghana, I, I really don't get your message, Dalenton, sorry. Michael Holassi says, I see a man that is in the fulfillment of Nkrumah's dream. God bless Ghana. God bless Nana. Inte rocks and says, Nana is a man of integrity and he understand the, understands, you want to say, the law. All his enemies will not succeed. God bless you, Nana. Ghana is working again. Bisma Kuma Genius says, there are pockets of lawlessness already. Less than 100 days into your reign. And now you say, waiting. Okay. Even our sister countries, they are complaining of the lawlessness in Ghana now. And my final uh, message on this will be, his pitch didn't even inspire... Um, it didn't even inspire the ant, not talk of the elephant. He should give us a break with his talk and must act. Uh, very soon I'll tell you what people are saying also about the meteorological agency. Uh, Jab Jabez Atta says, very inspirational and refreshing message from the man. They balloonly said he would never be president. And uh, John Devine sa says, is the government officials not being paid? Are they not receiving aid? Uh, and they say that is salary. Well, the meteorological service is what you want to talk about. So that is where I bring you a very quick wrap of what's been happening with the Ghana Meteorological Agency. So apparently a rainstorm was to hit the entire country on Thursday evening at about 7 p.m. according to an interview granted the Ghana News Agency by senior meteorologist at the Ghana Meteorological Agency, Michael Paddy. Well, he based, uh, Michael Paddy, Paddy based uh, his pr prediction on what he says were signs that were picking from the weather. They said notice that the public must take necessary precautions to prevent any tragedies as uh, we've often recorded in this country. They warned against weak structures and trees as the storm with accompanying strong winds could make uh, 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 being close to such place places dangerous but it turns out there was no storm and the agency has received serious bashing on social media even after a short period of rain this morning so we're asking on social media the extent to which you expected the rains especially when similar incidences have happened but what about the rains uh, we saw this morning the meteor agency has not responded to any of our calls but let's see what you're saying on social media uh, whether or not you were expecting the storm and what you had to say so we start with Citizen Dennis. Citizen says, Masa, I have said this over and over again on many different platforms between 9 p.m. yesterday till now. There was a massive rainstorm in Takrade around 4 p.m. yesterday. Those who choose to treat the meteor service warning uh, to do so at their own risk. Joy FM can also go ahead, aid and abet people disregarding meteor service warnings. After all, when the unexpected happens, it has the platform to blame governments and its agencies. I see. Pray thunder doesn't strike your transmitters. Thunder will not strike our transmitters, but thank you for your thoughts. Those are your opinions, and everybody is uh, uh, entitled to one. Chris says, Joy News should, shouldn't have even brought this to the forefront of the Ghanaian public. Yes, it did rain and were storms in some parts of the country. Never disbelieve them, for you shall be taken by surprise someday, okay? Mohammed says, I never believe that I let for a second. 
I remember the president and his ministers beating very well at the Independence Square by a heavy rain. They, the meteorological agency, couldn't give any alert on that. I wouldn't call it a false alert. It was a joke. Joseph Ahin says, if somebody told me an ant killed an elephant with AK-47, I would easily believe that than the predictions of the Ghana Meteorological, uh, whatever the name is. That's not fair to them. Come on. David says, you guys should understand they are never God yesterday and today. The difference, you won't say the difference is just word. And moreover, it's rained today. Even Spintex at the moment, we are using ship. I see. Uh, <coughs> Akwesi says, Joy News, was the storm coming to hit the country man-made or natural phenomenon what sort of poor journalism is that is that learned from bbc and others okay Akwesi, we hear you well if the meteorological agency makes a prediction and it's different we've got to uh, and it's all based on what you people have said on social media it means that people were expecting that storm and it is a problem if we cannot rely on the meteorological agency's predictions but well uh, that will be my final two comments. Um, Banson says, I never believe it because this is not their first time of telling us this and it never happened. Moreover, somewhere here, there was no sign that something of that nature will happen because the stars and the moon were out and we were enjoying the moonlight. And so, mind you, the meteorological agency said it was the storm was going to hit the entire country and that did not happen. Elvis said, do... Uh, Watson says in Ghana, I don't trust NBC Fire Service and Meteorological Agency, and you have some very harsh words for them. Well, let's move on from there. <laughs>